Hi everyone. In this video I wanted to show you how you can perform multiple regression from matrix summary data in SPSS. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because there may be situations where you are reading a research article where correlational data are provided or where multiple re regression results are provided and you might be interested in running a model of your own based on that information or you know testing an alternative model specification so what we're going to do is pivot off of some data that summary data that's provided in this article uh, this is one I uh, co-authored uh, back in 2011 this is need for closure achievement goals and cognitive engagement in high school students and in this article we actually ran a manifest variable path analysis uh, but what we're going to do is just pivot off of some of the information uh, to run a multiple regression analysis in SPSS so really briefly the information that we're going to be drawing from comes from table one where we have means and standard deviations for the variables and then also from table two where we have the correlations uh, just to show you the final model that we had run, uh, this is what it looks like uh, in terms of the, the path model. And for our analysis in this demonstration, we're going to be using the deep processing variable as a dependent variable. And then we're going to use mastery goals, per preference for structure, and preference for certainty as independent variables in our regression analysis. I also want to mention that um, at the time we used pairwise deletion. Um, I would not have used that in retrospect. Um, but that it is what it is and so the total effective sample size that we're going to be relying on in this demonstration is 341 which was the number of participants in this particular study it uh, really is is probably not going to make that much of a difference but um, I just wanted to, to briefly mention that so let's go ahead and open up SPSS and you can see here we have a, a blank uh, uh, spreadsheet that's opened up by the way as I'm uh, I wanted to mention too that uh, what you will find underneath the video description I will include a link to a text file with the commands that I'm using in this uh, video so we'll open up our SPSS file and go to file new and then we're going to go down to syntax so I'm going to uh, press that button right there and so here in the syntax editor this is where we're going to enter our information and run our analyses our analysis so we'll start off by uh, uh, letting SPSS know that we're entering matrix data and giving the variables so I'm going to type in matrix data then variables equals and then we're going to follow this with row type and an underscore and then at this point now we're going to start entering the names of our variables so I'm going to type in uh, the first one is structure next one is certain next one is mastery then we have PA PPR PAVD uh, shallow and deep and then we're gonna follow that up with a period at the end of the line so make sure there's a period at the end of the line um, if this matrix data portion of it if we don't have a period you'll see it in red and that we haven't closed out that line so we need our period there to close it out it turns blue next uh, on the next line we're gonna um, we're gonna type in begin data and now we're going to enter our correlation matrix so we're going to start each line with C O R R and we're just going to enter the lower triangle uh, for for the uh, correlation matrix so I'm going to start off with one right here and um, and then we'll go to the next line we'll type in C O R R and then we're going to add in the next uh, line here so we'll type in 0 0.20 and then one point zero zero and then we're going to keep entering the correlations in the order in which the variables appear in this first line so that's extremely important make sure that the correlations that you are entering uh, are in that order or else uh, it's not going to make any sense when you run your analysis so I'm going to pause this for a second and type in the remaining portion of the correlations okay so now I've entered the correlation matrix and and by the way I, I tend to like to keep everything in uh, columns kind of neat columns to uh, reduce the likelihood of making an error when I'm in, um, when I'm typing so next we'll type in uh, mean or means 
and then we'll type in the means for our variables. Again, this needs to be in the order in which the variables are given in the top row. So I'll type in uh, 3.65, 3.41, uh, 4.11 right here, uh, 2.88, 2.03, 3.07, and 3.59. The next line we'll type in um, our standard deviation. So I'm going to type in STDDEV. So make sure that there are two D's in there and we'll type them in. So it'll be 0 0.90 for the first one, 0 0.99, 1 1.12, 1 1.16, 0 0.93, 1.04, and 0.93. Again, those need to be in the same order as uh, the variables in that top row. Then uh, we'll type in our sample sizes. Remember that we're just using the total sample size of 341 and we have to add this uh, uh, seven times, which is the number of the variables uh, in our analysis. So there's uh, one, two, and Okay, so now we have our uh, sample sizes in, and next we're going to type in end data and then period. And so when we add that period at the end, you'll see that up here where it was red, now it's turned blue, and we've closed out um, our information. So when I run this uh, syntax right here, press the little green button right here, you will see that we get a new uh, SPSS data file that is opened up and all of that information is now included in this uh, in this open data uh, in this open spreadsheet so you'll notice that we have a column that's uh, row type then uh, we have the variable names that are given right here and then each variable is given uh, at the top of each of these columns you'll see that we have the correlation the full correlation matrix uh, that's given uh, for our variables. So you'll see in the principal diagonal that contains ones. Uh, and then you know we have the lower triangle that we had just entered um, a second ago using the syntax command uh, or using our syntax and then we also have the upper triangle. So it's a symmetric matrix everything is in there and this is what we're going to be reading from when we run our regression analysis. You'll see that we have uh, the sample size, uh, 341 for each of the variables that are given, uh, the means for the variables, and then also the standard deviations that are given. So next, let's go back to our uh, syntax file. And now we're going to use our regression uh, commands in order to run our regression model. So I'm going to type in uh, regression. Uh, then on the next line, we're going to type in the subcommand with a backslash and then matrix. So we're using the matrix subcommand equals and then type in n and then inside the parenthesis we're going to put an asterisk. And so what we're doing here is instructing SPSS to read that uh, open uh, matrix data into the program so that we can perform our analysis. So next we'll type in uh, the subcommand uh, backslash missing and we're just going to call this, we're, we're going to use listwise. Um, for this uh, demonstration here and then next we'll type in backslash statistics and then we're going to type in several um, options so we're going to type in uh, COEFF, uh, OUTS, R, ANOVA, COLLIN that's, and TOL that's, those are for uh, collinearity diagnostics and then ZPP that's for zero order part and partial correlations We'll go to the next line and then we'll type in uh, backslash and then use the dependent subcommand. Set that equal to deep. And so in this case right here, that what we're doing is we're specifying the dependent variable for our regression analysis. Next we need to specify the independent variables and we'll do this by using by uh, typing in backslash method equals enter. And this is instructing SPSS to enter um, our independent variables simultaneously. So we'll type in mastery, then structure, and then certain, and then we're going to end it with a period. And so you'll see that when we add the period, uh, the re regression command now turns blue instead of being red. And so now we'll highlight all of this and press our green button right here and you can see that we get our output. So you can see that we have our model summary data uh, infra, uh, table, our ANOVA, we have our coefficients and so forth. So everything's good uh, there. 
Uh, another option, if you don't want to type in all of that uh, code for the regression model, another uh, easy approach would be to uh, run an analysis just by going under regression linear right here. Run the analysis, but you're not going to be done yet. So we're going to, uh, let's say I put in deep right here. I'm going to put in uh, several other uh, variables. I'll just go ahead and put this whole set in right here. And you can make your selections under statistics. I can ask for, you know, our part and partials, collinearity, uh, for example, and then continue. And then use the paste button. So I'll click on paste right there. And so when I go to my syntax file, you can see that we have um, a regression um, uh, specification with all of our different options selected. Now if I run this analysis right now you'll see the model summary the R square is one uh, you know nothing really makes very much sense in in terms of our analysis and that's because it's treating uh, the the data in that file as if it were kind of the raw data. So what we can do instead uh, to fix this is just go back to where it says regression and then go to the next line and we'll use backslash and then use our matrix uh, n subcommand. So we'll type in backslash matrix equals n and then inside parenthesis have our asterisk right there. And so now when we run our analysis we get uh, everything we wanted to before and so now you can see it it finally makes sense. So that, um, that pretty well uh, concludes this demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.